Hello everyone, I'd like to show you a technique for being more productive while developing iOS applications. It seems like this technique is not very well known in the community, I'd like to share this with you. So here on the right we have a running iOS app. You may recognize this as the standard uh, master detail application. And uh, if we wanted to, for example, change the background color, most people would actually have to change the code and then recompile. But I'll show you here that I have the ability to come in here and change the background to red uh, without doing a, a recompile. You notice the app is still running. I still have my three items in here. I can come back in. I can change this to black. And again, push those changes right into a running application. Now, I think many of you may be wondering, how is this possible? The answer is uh, Objective-C actually has the ability, well, and Swift as well, has the ability to uh, change out the implementation of a method that is already in a running app. This is through method swizzling, you may have heard of it. But most importantly, in this case, there's an Xcode plugin that will allow me to change the code and then come up to here, injection plugin, and oh, pardon me, inject source. So control equals on the on the keyboard. We hit inject source, and then now you can see that little progress bar went, and now as we've injected uh, this class, Master View Controller, into the running app. And you'll notice that this is not limited just to this injected method. This injected method I've been using, this is a method that's fired when you finish injecting your code. But likewise, we can go down here and see right now when we create an object, it's uh, currently with the timestamp. I can come in here and I can change that line of code and again, go to product, inject source. And we've, we've changed the implementation such that when I hit plus, it now says continuous development. So pretty neat. Next step, I'm gonna show you how to uh, get your project up and running with injection. So what you'll need to do, let's close this project, new project. And uh, again, sure, let's do, let's do, I guess, a single view base application in this case. And we can call it hello inject. I'm gonna do objective C for now. Uh, yep. So once that's created, then you'll notice that if we try to run the app at first, it won't work. You, you won't be able to inject the code right away. I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you right here. Okay, so now the application is running and let's say I go into my view controller and I say something like uh, injected and I say uh, self.view set background color to UI color red red color okay great so you notice if I go to inject the source right away so here we go so if I inject the source right away nothing nothing happens we have no change in the application we uh, we actually need to go to injection plugin patch project for injection. And if we do that, you'll see this prompt come up, with modified main, modified project, PBX project. And the most noticeable uh, modification is that you'll see here in main.m that we now have uh, this code on the bottom. This code, if we're in debug mode, then we'll add these as potential IP addresses for my, my workstation. And then we're going to import this bundle injection header file. This header file is where the magic happens. And we can go view that at a later date. But for right now, I'm just going to show you that it does indeed work. So we run the, uh, the project again. And in this case, uh, we have the injected here. App is running. We go product inject source. And you'll see in a moment, oh, the first time is a little bit slow, but you should see in a moment that boom, now our background color is red. So hopefully this is helpful to you and uh, good luck injecting your code. I'll see you next time.